Billy's. Well, Greens leader Bob Brown has just began a news conference. We'll take you to that right now. And it should be stopped. If we're going to soil the nest of uh, this magnificent coastal region, then let the soil be dumped outside a protected area which was protected by the Fraser government at the time of the Jockey peterson regime. Uh, and in the 1980s, this sea dumping and making money out of turning a, the Great Barrier Reef into a rubbish dump simply could not have occurred. It would not have been allowed at the public level uh, or the state or federal government level. But here at, at all three levels, it's being passed into uh, not only law, but to a money-making venture for the very people, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, whose job it is to protect it. I was in Gladstone uh, last week with Larissa. We flew over the, the massive scarring on Curtis Island in the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area. We saw the sea dumping. I went to the cold room and saw the poisoned fish, which authorities in Queensland say is OK for sale, but the fishermen themselves have the good common sense to say we can't put onto the market. Uh, and uh, the timeline and the scientific evidence is that this dumping, this dredging and dumping is the cause of the toxic effect on the fish, which has uh, caused enormous damage to the fisheries industry there. Uh, and it's only the good sense of the fisher people which is uh, calling this to order. And they're apparently having to take legal action to defend their own interests. What happened to the defence of that industry's rights, uh, which should be upheld by ministers in state and federal parliaments, instead of uh, being ignored and leaving them to do the best they can against the much bigger influence of the mining barons who want to export their profits overseas uh, and leave a dumped legacy in the Great Barrier Reef uh, as a result of this short term of massive coal and coal seam gas expansion. Well, I'll, I'll hand across to Larissa and then come back to answer questions you might have. Thanks, Bob. Excuse me. Uh, I'll just give that to you. Thanks, everyone. Look, Bob's made, uh, made the main points. Here we have the Environment Minister under a Labor government proposing to turn the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area into a rubbish dump. Now, I think people would be simply horrified to know that already there is a massive program of dredging in the reef, about 65 Melbourne cricket grounds worth, and about 22 million cubic metres of offshore dumping that's already on our books, it's already proposed. And of course there's more coming down the line because there's plans for at least six new fossil fuel ports up and down the length of the coast. I mean, is nowhere safe? What happened to World Heritage? I thought we were meant to be protecting this icon for its international significance and for the fact that it brings in six billion dollars to our tourism uh, industry and economy and employs over 60,000 people. Surely it is just too precious to risk. Uh, we've seen the devastation in Gladstone. As Bob said, we flew over there last week and saw with our own eyes what's going on in the harbour. And we had a very emotional meeting with uh, some of the fish uh, market folk there who've seen their livelihoods absolutely devastated. We saw their industry have to be shut down for three weeks. And of course, the fish are still sick. So they're actually voluntarily not selling to market because they're concerned about the public health impacts. Now, that's a very uh, uh, bold and, and correct decision by them, but they're getting absolutely no support from the state or federal government. Uh, and we saw those really, really uh, awful, uh, diseased sharks and fish and prawns and crabs in their cold room. And you know, what on earth is happening? Where is the federal government on this issue? Why are they standing by and letting this happen and doing nothing about it? Uh, we, we had the... And New South Wales Police Minister Mike Gallagher has just spoken to the media.